What up, what up? This your boy Boss. Welcome back to the channel. As always, I appreciate y'all coming through, kicking it with your boy, man. Just checking out the videos because you know the grind don't stop. We is back with another video for you guys, man. So in today's video, we're going to be moving some fish around here in the fish room. I have my beautiful blue angels. I have 10 of those guys that have been quarantining for about three weeks now. And I want to move these guys up to this 55 gallon aquarium today. And I also want to put in the diamond tetras that we just picked up in the last video. And I'm kind of thinking about putting in my rams into this tank as well. So still trying to decide on the rams, but we'll see how things progress. But before we get into this video, start catching fish and moving stuff around, let's feed all the fish down here in the fish room and make sure everybody's fat. So let's get into that. All right, before we start moving fish down here in the fish room, I will go through and feed some of the fish try to stay out the camera the best I can because I got a white shirt on today. See if we can get these uh, silver dollars and exodons to do anything on camera. Let me back up a little bit. A little skittish little fish. Let me turn the aperture down. Just very skittish. Definitely eating it though. You see the silver dollars eating it. We'll feed some of these guys over here. We got some pellets. If you are Try to stay out the camera best way I can because it is tons of glare with a white shirt on. All oh, these beautiful fish up in here. Can't wait to move these guys to their new tank. I've been feeding them all day though today, so they really probably ain't too crazy about no food right now. Look at this Jack Dempsey though. Looking good. See the green turret and hit his head probably on top of that uh egg crate trying to get some food. Get the Oscar now. Now this food I'm feeding them right now is kind of like a, it's a sinking pellet. I'm not really too much of a fan of it, but it's all right. Let's feed these guys. I just like trying different food and seeing what fish like it. I prefer floating pellets though, but trying this out, see how I do. Let's feed these guys down here some uh, blood worms. I mean, some brine shrimp. Definitely some babies in here. I just seen them earlier. They was hiding back up in this little rock. But obviously, they're not going to be on camera right now. I've been feeding these guys a lot of flake food too. That brine shrimp just gives them that protein that they need. Keeps their bellies nice and fat. Nice and fat. Let's see if y'all want some more. Try to feed this tank some more. Uh, Brine shrimp as well. That way everybody get a little bit of something. <laughs> Even a little hot could be eating a little brine shrimp. Knowing he like regular shrimp and pellets. But he just eat anything. Can't wait to move these uh angels out of here. They're gonna look dope in the new setup. 
I guess I haven't showed these guys. We got a, this tank is kind of looking crazy right now. I'm going to move all the Africans. But these are all my little fry I got. But, and there's, I forgot to tell you guys, another giant Daniel then jumped down into this tank. He was, It's one over in that tank, and now it's one in this tank. I don't, I just don't understand at this point. But yeah, we got tons of little rusties and some, you know, mixed Africans. But these guys are going to be going to a new tank, all the Africans. Let's feed our blue angels that are going to be coming out of here today. Get them nice and fat before I move them. I had one of them in here. I had 10 of them, but I had one that wasn't doing the greatest, though, low key. He was looking pretty weak. But I'm not seeing him doing that today, so whatever was going on, he must have bounced back. He was definitely looking weak. But we got 10 of them blue angels. They're the ones that kind of got like the black stripes on them. And ain't none of these guys really got their true colors yet. So another six months, these fish are going to be beautiful. Can't wait to see that. Feed all these crazy fish up in here. Got some flake food too. Throw some flake food in there for those guys. Get a bunch of flake. This flake food I use has all different types of good things for the fishing. It's not just like one kind of flake food. Let's feed some more of this down here for these guys. Get them some flake. And give them some more flake too. Everybody eats, B. This is the flake food I use. I buy this from uh, a man's Alex at Westlake Aquatic. But you can see everything it has in it. Black worm, blood worm, brine shrimp, plankton, krill, spirulina, more. You know, $5 for like a little two ounce bag. You sell them bigger than that too, but definitely dope. And I be uh, buying it all the time. My flag festival is finally out. They only come out when it's time to eat, I see, huh? Everybody in here looking good. Let's get these electric blue cars fed up. So ever since I moved them to this tank, they haven't really been really liking each other that much in this tank. So we'll see how that play out. Eat up. There's tons of algae growing. And I left it in there so if they do breed, the babies have plenty of hiding spots to be able to eat like little microorganisms and all type of things that live on the algae, the tritus and whatever else. <laughs> you got a piece of algae stuck in this bottle. <laughs> These dudes over here look like they about full now. All that brine shrimp and flake. I like throw a little bit of brine shrimp in here too. Just you know, if they want to get a little bit of protein, they can. Even though it's not going to do too much for their bellies, but still a little bit some protein for them. Loving that tank. Let's feed these guys. Y'all don't really see these a lot, but these are my yellow top Mabambas. You guys will be seeing these in the African cichlid tank. Tons of these guys down here. 
too many to keep count, to be honest. I feed these guys a lot of pellets too, though, but they definitely get their protein and flake, whatever they eat, whatever, you know, Africans, they eat whatever. They fast as lightning, just look at them, just dart in and out of the rocks. Look like there's no fish in here, but there's tons of them in here. But I'll step away so they can eat, because they be acting weird. That's why I get them out of that tank, because they're too low to the ground. They're not really that exciting being that low. Feed our rams. These are my rams I was talking about trying to move to the new setup today. I don't know, though. Still trying to decide. But I need to get them out of here, because these cabensies, see the female right there and the male over here, they've been trying to breed like crazy. It's been a lot of aggression I've been noticing in this tank, so I need to kind of like move some fish around. You can see right here, you see they kind of aggressive with the other ones. Very slow eaters though. These fish really don't eat a lot. Get them some more. It's your protein, buddy. I'll throw some pellets in there later for you. There's a little pleco in there too. All right, right back over there. A little bristle nose. He'll be able to get some of that. Brine shrimp. It's our vinyl tetras. We picked up in the last video. Let's see if these guys want to eat before I move them today. Yeah, they're eating. Always a good sign. Feed this beauty of a tank right here. So much green going on, I think camera won't even focus. Sword tail's looking great. Love this tank, man. I don't know what it is about this one. The ecosystem is on point. There's so much greenery and life in there. Look at these guys, they still hungry. You fill a mental bars, eat like crazy. And they follow you too, look. <laughs> I'm gonna put some uh, flake food in here for them. That way they just go crazy on flake. Go crazy, go crazy. This is the tank. We're putting the fish in. See, it's look a lot better than it did in the last video. Can't wait to finally uh, get something in there today. Left my little boom. If you guys ain't never used one of these, it's great for feeding like brine shrimp and stuff. Turkey baster or poopette, whatever you want to call it. Let me step back. Got our blue angels. I got their light off. Let me turn a other light on. There you go. Our platinum angels. I said blue angels. Our platinum angels. There's the other one. I'm trying to stay out the camera because I got the white shirt on. I'm trying to stand off to the side. You guys can see them. Looking good, as always. These guys are getting some algae on their glass. Time to wipe that down. Been leaving this light on this tank though, trying to get these uh, cribs to grow. So I've been leaving the light on longer than I normally do. Just barely even see them in there. 
I remember we had bought these fish probably what about a week or so now we had the grammys plus we had the uh, see one dark back there little pygmy quarries and then we got the ember tetras which are all back there in the back they've been back there a lot i've been noticing that i don't know what that's about but they've been hiding a lot so we'll see how that works out we'll feed these guys we're just in this tank today catching some females out of here that's holding and stripping some females. Tons of Africans up in here. Can't wait to get all my Africans in one tank, y'all. It's, it's gonna look crazy, just for sure the next video. But these guys are breeding like crazy. I pulled out a bunch of fry today from them. And look at Shorty Mac. Like, where's my food at? I want some food. You get shrimp later. You get fed when the monsters get fed, Shorty. It's a beautiful catfish, bro. Just beautiful. Let's feed these dudes down here. I think that female back there holding, too. That's the mom right there. Yeah, she holding because she would have went after that food. These guys breed prolific. They don't have no lights on right now, so you got to bear with me on that one. That male is just huge. Huge, huge, huge. Can't wait to get our tiger angels in here. See, this thing is looking super tanning out, but I, like I said in the last video, I really like this for some reason. I don't know what it is, but I definitely enjoy it. Looking good. But yeah, just wanted to do a little quick little feeding. Let's go ahead and start getting all these angels out of here. They're going to be going to that new setup. Let's get them in there, so stay tuned. So it's been about three days since we added our blue angels into this 55 gallon aquarium, and I'm loving this tank right now. I literally just threw this scape together, um, didn't even think it out, but everything has came out great, and it's just looking phenomenal. All the plants are like super lush and green. The scape is just great, and the water is just crystal clear. But we end up putting our beautiful blue angels in here and then we got our diamond tetras in here and i think that is a great contrast and they are looking phenomenal and all these fish are still very small so once they grow and get bigger this tank is going to look even better and hopefully we can maybe breed some of these blue angels i bred them maybe like six seven years ago and i would love to breed these angels again but i'm loving this right now like <laughs> and we all and we only end up putting nine angels in here because the 10th one ended up passing on me so that was a bummer but we still got nine of these beautiful blue angels and this tank bro like let me just step back so y'all can just get a full understanding it's just looking good I said I was going to put my uh, rams in here, but I end up not putting them in here. You guys will let me know you think I should add the rams or what other cool species of fish that you think would go well in this aquarium. And uh, hopefully if I can find them in my area, I'll pick them up because we need more fish, obviously, but I'm liking how everything is looking right here. We probably need some bottom dwellers, maybe some quarries or something, kind of a bottom dweller. And maybe we can pick up some more diamond tetras as well um, to kind of build that school. So looking good i'm loving it you guys can let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this did we take a w uh, we just taking w's down here in the fish room man. i'm literally down here just creating my dream tanks and sharing them with you guys man i appreciate all the people that support me watch the videos like the videos comment and just keep me inspired man so i'm out of here you guys let me know that we take a w and look at this tank jesus it's just beautiful i'll catch you guys in the next video